pretty soon that they are done up there on the tower and will be heading to their fallback location. First step, blue control. As you heard, your crew member seven and tower will be departing shortly. You'll see them cleaning up and eventually descending the stairs. While we're waiting, I have a note from you from our previous New Shepherd crew. I'll begin with a message from William Shatner. Dear fellow half-astronauts, you're in great hands today, and only wonderful things will happen. You have survived the biggest test of all, 11 flights of stairs up the gantry at 4,000 feet altitude. I don't know about you, but I was exhausted for the rest of the trip. Good luck, but you don't need it. Fondly, Bill Shatner. This is from Chris Bosshausen. Dear New Shepard 19 crew, congratulations on joining the small but growing community of humans who have journeyed beyond the Carmel line, who have seen the deep of space and the brilliance of Earth from that unique vantage point. The flight will be over before you know it, but the impact will be with you for the rest of your life. Don't forget to take a moment and really look and bring back one favorite thing to share with the rest of us, waiting breathlessly for you and your safe return. Safe travels, my friends. Astronaut Crispy. This is from Leah, Glenn DeVries' partner. Dear astronaut, you have all dreamed of sitting in this seat, and it marks only the beginning of a profound new chapter. This journey's impact stretches far beyond the timeline of this mission. When Glenn fulfilled his lifelong dream of traveling to space, he came back with a new appreciation for our planet. I hope when you arrive home, you too will take this experience and curiosity to help solve the problems here on Earth. Quote, through new innovation, new technology, and a new outlook on the unity of the planet, together we can build a future. Glenn, we love you to space and back. Safe travels team, Leah. And finally, from Audrey Powers. In spite of my best efforts, I was unable to get any of you to trade places today. So, I'll be in the next best place, watching you with great excitement from just down the road with Blue Origin team who makes these flights possible. I wish everyone could experience what you are about to, and I'll simply say, in honor of my good friend, Glenn DeVries, who lived every moment to the fullest. Stay in this moment. Hold on to it after you land for as long as you can. And then share it. Share it far and wide. I wish you Godspeed, New Shepherd 19, and it's my great honor to welcome you to the Blue Origin family. Astronaut Audrey Powers. I want to thank the snake bites and the anti-venom for their messages today. And for now, sit back and relax, Original Six, and I'll keep you updated as we move forward. What special and amazing messages. And actually, Chris and Leah, and of course, Audrey Powers, are all here with us in West Texas. So I think that makes this mission 10 times more special. Yeah, absolutely. Just so amazing to hear those words and it's becoming a sort of tradition here at Blue uh, and really nice to see that community of Blue Origin astronauts starting to take shape and growing launch by launch. Yeah, the camaraderie across crews is really, it, it's been amazing. We're gonna be out of this hold here very shortly. So with that, let's stand by.
Welcome back. If you're just joining us, our crew of six are on board New Shepard. The hatch is closed and we've cleared that hold. I've also just heard from Mission Control that New Shepard is officially escape enabled. If you're following around, along on the bottom of your screen, Laura, what is the significance of this moment? Yeah, this is a very important moment in Mission Control and as a former capsule controller, certainly one of my favorite moments of the whole mission. So uh, they have just done a go poll. The flight director would have pulled all of the relevant positions that need to be ready for escape enabled. Uh, we've gone through the bits. Essentially, the capsule at this point is ready to fly. And we mentioned before, you know, we have this capability, the escape capability, uh, essentially from now until separation. So the whole time, if anything were to happen to the booster, the capsule can safely make its way into the landing zone. Very exciting. So many go pulls. Again, that was the go pull for escape enabled. We're just currently awaiting that go, no go polling for launch. With that, let's toss it to the rocket while we stand by for mission control. Thanks for joining everyone. We're just waiting for that go, no go poll. So let's listen in. Break. We are no going to badge board. Stand by for status.
thanks for joining us for our third human flight. As a reminder, in case anyone forgot, we have a crew of six on board. Laura Shepard Churchley, Dylan Launch. Taylor, Capsule. Evan Dick. Go. Booster. Go. Ground. Go. Safety. Capcom. Engineering. Go. This is the flight director. New Shepard is go for launch. Booster, commence the terminal count. Look at flight. As you have just heard, we are go for launch for our third human flight. We are so excited for this crew. Let's just take a quick moment and take in the sights and sounds from launch site one down here in West Texas. We are just about T minus eight minutes and 30 seconds until liftoff. Okay, we are just under T minus eight minutes until our third human flight. We have Laura Shepard Churchley, Michael Strahan, Dylan Taylor, Evan Dick, and the first ever parent child duo to fly to space together, Lane and Cameron Best. They are on the capsule, they're harnessed in, the hatch is closed. I'm so excited for this crew. Laura, can you give us a little insight in today, into today's flight profile? Yes, absolutely. We're getting very close <laughs> to this. Um, I'm going to start us at T minus two and a half minutes. So that's when we enter into auto sequence and the flight controllers at that point are essentially hands off. So we'll have the engine ignition at T zero followed by a throttle up. Uh, and then the liftoff actually occurs at T plus seven seconds. So then just one minute uh, after that liftoff, we will hit max Q. So that's the maximum dynamic pressure and the stresses, the aerodynamic stresses are the highest on the vehicle at that point. Um, then a bit after two minutes, we'll have main engine cutoff or MECO. And uh, at that point, everybody is in zero gravity, essentially free floating. Uh, and very soon after that, the separation of the capsule from the booster. Uh, so those vehicles will head up toward their apogee uh, and we'll follow the booster down uh, because it is going to re-enter more quickly. So as we re-enter, we'll get the forward wedge fins that deploy, uh, the aft fins are steering uh, the vehicle back down to the landing pad, which is only about two miles away from the launch pad. Then we have our drag brakes deploy, the engine will restart, we'll hover over the landing pad, and then we will have booster touchdown. So back to the capsule, which is re-entering slower due to its blunt shape. Uh, the rocket itself is much more aerodynamic. Uh, so the capsule, uh, after the booster has landed, the first thing visually that we are gonna see on the video is those drogues deploying. So the drogues come out, they slow down the capsule just enough so that the mains can deploy. They'll deploy in a reefed configuration. Uh, and just a few seconds later, they will disreef and open up to their full surface area. At that point, the landing systems are gonna engage, so we'll be measuring the height off the, uh, from the ground. Uh, and just as we are above the ground, we will fire our terminal decelerator system. You'll see a poof of dust from those retro thrusters, and we'll have capsule touchdown. Yep, and those retro thrusters do kick up some dust, but they allow for a very soft landing for our crew. All right, we're just under T minus five minutes until liftoff of third human flight. Things are getting real for our six astronauts on top of that live rocket. Laura, what's happening in mission control? We're under five minutes away. Yeah, so just a moment ago, as we heard, the flight director will have conducted that final go poll, the go for terminal count and launch. And I can tell you, like, I can feel the energy all the way from <laughs> over here. It's just in mission control at this time. Like, really, you could hear a pin drop. Just the team is amazing. They've trained for this, and here they are in the moment. 
So the capsule controller will have already completed the preparations, uh, essentially ready to fly as they sit there right now in ready to escape mode. Uh, the booster controller is still fairly busy though. So some of the things that booster is doing, switching to internal power, doing a final alignment of the navigation systems, arming the engine igniters. Then we have our ground controller who's monitoring the winds and weather, the propellant systems, the ground side of the propellant systems, the rest of the ground support equipment. We have INCO monitoring the RF systems. And this is all while all of the folks that we have in our engineering back room are monitoring all the important vehicle status, things like propellant conditioning. So in just a moment, we will watch the rocket go through its bit checks when we hit auto sequence. So those are the built-in tests. And some of the things that are happening there are invisible to our eyes, but some of them will actually get to see the actuated components moving around. So much going on with just minutes left to lift off. We're actually under four minutes, just about T minus three minutes until launch. We understand from Capsule Communicator, all six astronauts are ready to go. Let's watch and listen as New Shepard is about to go through those final checks that Laura just mentioned and rev up for third human flight. Okay, we are in our auto sequence. As you can see here, the bridge is retracting to its flight configuration. At this time, we're also gonna be pressurizing the tanks. And of course, our crew is seeing, hearing, and feeling all of this on board the capsule. Yes, absolutely. There's Michael Strahan on the left, looking great. <laughs> I think a smile. I see a smile, yeah. So we should have our, our bit checks that'll be coming up next. All right, there we go with the aft fins. So those aft fins down here at the base of the rocket, they help to direct the vehicle on ascent and descent. So commanding a profile there and making sure that it's tracking. Lucky, we can also see the engine nozzle here gimbling. Uh, the engine will help to maneuver the rocket as well, uh, especially right there before landing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 30 seconds. It is time to launch this rocket. Godspeed, New Shepard. Godspeed, the original six. Thank you so much for joining us. Seconds, guidance internal. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1. Shepard lifts off towards space with a full capsule of six humans 
for the very first time. Noticing that altitude bar also on the bottom of screen, we are climbing fast. through max Q, that is the point where the aerodynamic stress on the New Shepard booster is at its maximum. Our original six are getting the ride of their lives right now. Look at that beautiful BE3 engine in action. Coming up next here in under a minute is going to be main engine cutoff, where we cut off that BE3, and you'll be able to visually see that on the screen here shortly. And there we see it, main engine cutoff of the BE-3. We see the CC RCS thrusters firing, and we have confirmed separation. All right, so capsule booster separated. Capcom Serenites will momentarily cue the astronauts to unbuckle their harnesses and start floating around the capsule. They are in zero G. They have practiced for this, and now it's really happening. One minute warning. One minute warning. Well, huge congratulations to all six crew. They have crossed that Carmen line and they became official astronauts. Outstanding. As you can see, we have two distinct vehicles in the screen now. Both the crew capsule and the booster are descending. It was so amazing to hear from such an excited crew. I just love hearing their real reactions, real time. It is just awesome. That energy walking up the tower definitely translated yeah. into space. Yeah. 
As you can see, the forward fins on the new Shepard booster have deployed. That booster is on its way back to Earth first. So those fins, when they deploy, they help to shift that center of pressure so that we have just the right aerodynamic characteristics that we want for that rocket to come in in a very stable way. Engine restart on that BE-3 confirmed. Altitude dropping fast. Sonic boom here in the studio. Hear that? Feel that for sure. That beautiful booster hover. And booster touchdown. <laughs> Welcome back, New Shepard. Thank you so much again for joining us for our third human flight. We just landed the booster. The show is not over. Here we see our crew capsule on final descent back to the West Texas desert. Let's wait for that now. Look at that booster on the pad, all in a day's work for the workhorse of this operation. All right, and there go the drogue parachutes. That's a beautiful sight, slowing down the capsule. And there we go, the drogues lifting out the main parachutes. Looks like we have three beautiful parachutes there in their reef configuration. And the release, the disc reef, there we go. Three beautiful main parachutes. And on your screen, you're seeing that, that velocity and altitude dropping. So while these parachutes are obviously essential in providing a gentle touchdown for the crew capsule, New Shepard also has an innovative retro thrust system. Uh, so that's on the bottom of the capsule and that will make touchdown even smoother for the astronauts flying today. Oh yeah, look at that. Where's my phone? I'm gonna take a picture. Oh my God. That's so many times. We did it. We did it. We can hear audio from a very excited crew on their way back to Earth. Right, what a beautiful horizon. day in yeah, West Texas. What a great view through those big windows there. Stand by touchdown. Stand by touchdown. So keep in mind here, there we go. Retro thrust and touchdown. All right, that is cheering all around from the crew. I think it is safe to say that the word touchdown has a new meaning for Michael Strahan today. Jackie, you are right. <laughs> Thank you.
There we have it, looking like a completely successful third human flight. That audio from the crew, so exciting. We also, if you couldn't hear it from the audio, we just double confirmed with Mission Control that all six astronauts have landed back safely and are doing great. So at this point, our team is going to prepare those landing safety operations to recover our astronauts from the crew capsule. We'll be on the ground at the landing site to follow the action in just a bit and hopefully even hear from some of the world's newest astronauts. So now here after touchdown, the capsule will be going through auto safing. So the vehicle is going through some of its own procedures to vent some of the pneumatic system and turn off some of the power systems. And this is all while coordinating back with mission control who will be running their own procedures to continue that safing procedure while we have our crew capsule recovery team driving out. Look at that. Lots of <laughs> thumbs up, some waving. We have a happy crew in that capsule. And look at that beautiful shot on your screen. You can see the booster, a field in the background. Now, Laura, I have to ask you what I think is a very difficult question. Uh, what was it like for you for the first time to see the launch from here <laughs> instead of your normal position? Yes, it's definitely a very different experience to be <laughs> watching it from here. I have a little bit of FOMO with the crew who's driving out there. You can even see their dust as the, that lead car is quickly getting out to the recovery site. But oh my gosh, Jackie, thank you for having me here. This is very cool. Mission Control has just cleared that recovery crew for approach to the crew capsule. We'll see them here shortly. Love that camera view. <laughs> I think it's safe to say we feel like we're in there with them. Laura, that was <laughs> yeah, for there you. There we go. Thank you. That was specifically <laughs> for you. <laughs> We're getting a beautiful 360 view here. I just, the views from West Texas are gorgeous. There's mountains in every single direction that you're looking. We can even on the north, uh, if they keep panning around, we'll see the tallest mountain in Texas, Guadalupe Peak. So many waves. I think we just saw one from all six. So that's there very exciting <laughs> on that 360. <laughs> And there they are in view, the capsule recovery team racing out to meet our crew, the original six who just became official astronauts. So Laura, this is your team out there. Can you talk a little bit about what they're about to do to safe the capsule to prepare to take the crew off? Yeah, absolutely. So there are a few things that will happen pretty quickly. There you see crew member seven is going to run up and get a thumbs up. Looks like he's getting a thumbs up from all of them one by one, which I think we knew. We have we a pretty happy see, crew there. Yes. Then we, we have our CC recovery team that's going to be responsible for doing some safing on the vehicle. So they will ground it to make sure uh, there's not built up static charge. They're going to make sure the parachute risers are out of the way. Uh, they'll put the pins in for the escape system, and we should be seeing them approaching now that we have that thumbs up just right now.
And of course, once Mission Control and the recovery team decide that everything is, is good with the crew capsule, we'll see their family and friends meet them out at the capsule as well, which is always a really special moment when the crew is walking out of the capsule and getting to see their family and friends for the first time. Right, we've heard from everybody just even in this moment right now when they're sitting in the capsule and they've just been to space <laughs> right. and now they've just touched back down on Earth, like a very reflective moment for them on, on what a big experience this is. There you see our founder, Jeff Bezos, out there waiting to greet the newest astronauts. And you see the blue stairs are up, just waiting to open that hatch. So right now, mission control will be going through their procedures. The capsule controller doing some power down of various systems, all while communicating here with our CC recovery task leader, who's in charge of the vehicle out here in the field. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us for a successful third human flight. We are minutes away here from that hatch opening and we'll be greeting our crew for the first time back on Earth. There you see that new Shepard booster oh. <laughs> right in the background there, standing tall, did a great job today. I love that view when we get both vehicles out in the field like yeah. that. Michael Strahan is out of the capsule. Big hug for our founder, Jeff Bezos, followed by Laura Shepard Churchley, Dylan Taylor, Lane Best, Cameron.
Cameron Best. And last but certainly not least, Evan Dick. Welcome back, the original six. It was dark. Could you see the? Okay, Kyrie Flat Earther. When you're going up and you're going, okay, it's getting dark, and you realize you're going to be in the darkness. You're not going to be in the light. You're going to be looking at the light in the dark. Yeah. It's, it's like a switch. It's unreal. I get it. You got to go. You said, like, when you said you wouldn't go, and I was um, like, I'm not going to 1290, I want to go. Yeah, you see it. Like, I'm telling you. I get it. And I, I told them in the past, so I said, you guys have experienced it this way. you got to come back and experience the launch and watch the rocket land, mm -hmm. just to get that perspective yeah. from it, because that's what, what yeah. really picture. Sure. Is it what you expected? Yeah. Oh, wow. I visualize, oh, I don't watch so cool. yeah. videos, so I don't watch videos, I don't watch videos. Oh, so fast. Oh, so fast. That's what I do. I don't go back. Oh, God. What happened longer? Yeah. Same thing. I have the same thing. That's what every astronaut says. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. Space station next. I don't want to go back. These guys are like, you know, it's great and all. It's great. You know, more people are going to be drawn to it. I said, it's going to be hard for you guys to get another ticket. So, <laughs> that's, that's cat, cat. you got to pay for the next one. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Love seeing this crew embracing family and friends, and we're getting some awesome snippets of their experience. I tell you, that was... That's a good idea. That was beyond. Okay, this is the thing. The G's... It's a face, not a face lift. It's a face drop. All right, you're ready. Really? I felt. I, I I know what I'm gonna look like at 85. Hi to the group viewers at home. Oh. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you. Welcome home. Thank you. And you were my always there for me. I didn't, wasn't, I wasn't so expecting much. it, but I just thought, yeah. It's so surprising how intense it is. Yeah. It's See, great. It's I know. He I was nervous. Oh, believe me. He was nervous. I know. This man loves you. Oh, he was nervous. <laughs> 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 
He was a, he was a strong man the whole time we were here. So I never had any doubt. No. I'm happy for her. What a cool deal, huh? Yes, I'm happy for her dad. How cool yeah. Well, there's the nothing like this. No. Who else could do that? Who else's dad was the first American in space? I know, I know. Thank you. I thought about daddy coming down and thought, gosh, he didn't even get to enjoy any of what I'm getting to enjoy. He was working. It was all business. Right. right. He had to do it himself. I went By the way, off for the ride. Have you seen how small his castle was? Oh, yeah. We've been I in hardly tried to do that thing. I hardly yeah. did it. He wasn't doing somersaults. He didn't have your windows. The only way he it's knew his weight was, was his was straps were flying. <laughs> right. <laughs> Because he was strapped in. He was part of that machine. Exactly. Was, he was kind of wearing a suit, is what he was saying. Exactly. And we, yeah. we could, if, if, had to get down in the sky. Thanks for your smile. Forget it, Disney. <laughs> Blue Origins is the best. Blue Origins is the best. Blue Origins is the best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have a last class to line up for your presentation of your new Shepard astronaut wings. Yeah. Woo! Woo! I got one of them. All right. Theodore, so Laura. Dylan. I love the flag. Oh, Fred. Lane, Evan. I wore your flag. Cameron, perfect. Okay. All right. Michael. Great. Yes. Trying to adjust to it, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> welcome, yeah. welcome home, astronaut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very few people have been where you just went. Oh man, hopefully many more will be. Love you, man. Love you back. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, fantastic. Right here, Laura Shepard Trudley. Hey, Laura, oh, wait, let me fix this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let, let, let me just show you. You, you are the prettiest great. member of this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's not even close. No. <laughs> and her hair looks great in space. <laughs> I bet it did. It. <laughs> it snaps back right into place. <laughs> oh, yeah. How did, did anybody take a picture, thank you, of my hair? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's on camera. <laughs> Dylan Taylor. Dylan. Congratulations. So great to yeah. I'm so happy for you. Oh, my God. What a gift. Dylan. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That was a great experience. What a, what a journey. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> get me in line. Get me in line. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Camera best? Hey, camera. Oh, man. Yes, thank you so much. so happy for you. He's having a harder time now than when he was up in the rocket. Yeah. The original six back and seemingly better than ever. Oh my gosh. Such poignant words from our crew. Yeah, I heard a few. I want to I want to go again, or that was dream come true. That is just so amazing to hear that straight from them after this. What a day. What That's a day. the most special thing that we can hear at Blue Origin. No, you can't. Stay behind. Perfect. Good night. Catherine, I'm going to put the pins, uh, the backs on your pins real quick oh, so yeah. they don't fall out. Okay. That is incredible. I'm so happy for you guys. Oh. <laughs>
Well, that was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much to everyone for joining us today for Blue Origin's third human flight. A very extra special thank you to our customers on board, Evan, Lane, Dylan, and Cameron. If you're interested in reserving your seat on a future rocket ride to space and back, it starts by visiting blueorigin.com and clicking fly to space. Laura, I said it before, but I can't thank you enough for sharing the desk and adding your invaluable perspective. I'm sure you wanted to be out there, but we all appreciate you being in here for this mission. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. Yes, thank you so much. Very fun to be here today. The road to space is being built. You saw it here today. If you're interested in joining our extraordinary, very fast growing team, please visit our website on the careers page. And if you'd like to commemorate the day, Alan Shepard's daughter followed in his footsteps, iconic footsteps to space. We have mission patches and is an homage to his legacy. Glenn DeVries' initials are on the patch. So special. My name is Jackie Cortez. For Laura Stiles and everybody here at Blue Origin, thank you so much for joining us. Until our next launch, Gridatum Ferocitor. Thank you.